everybody, it's Christy back with another video and today we have a special unboxing on the channel. This is the holiday sketch box. So I think it's called the holiday gift box this year. It came unmarked, but it does say on the bottom that that's what it is. I am very excited from the promotional material that I have seen. I haven't seen it all, but just like the pictures that Sketchbox has put up for this box. I love it every year and I am hoping for some good stuff in this box here. So um, this box was $80 plus shipping. I will put a full at the end, full description of everything below. I already see some things I really like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It is a, one of their specialty boxes and it is usually my favorite one of the year because usually there's some glittery stuff in there. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. Ooh, this piece of artwork is beautiful. And the artist is Kat Stockton. Kat is, has beautiful work. I have uh, seen some of their work before. There is their Instagram. Make sure that you go and follow Kat. And I am pretty sure that Kat did a very detailed tutorial of how to use these products together for Sketchbox. I have not watched it yet because I wanted to unbox this first and like look at really cool. It looks like we're going to have some pencils in here. And it looks like markers and maybe some watercolors. I'm excited that maybe this box, it seems like, oh, there's pencils. Um, I think this is less water-based than the last few have been. So if it, you are somebody who uh, is like, okay, every year we get a big watercolor box, this I think is going to be less of that just from the promotions. And I am right because we get a set of 12 polychromos colored pencils in this box. Wow. Wow. So Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils are seriously high-end. I don't actually have a full set of 12. I think I have three or four of them. I like them a lot. They are a harder pencil than if you're used to like a Prismacolor or the Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils. But let's just take a look at these guys. This is a whole full set of 12. That's really exciting. All right, so we got a really nice rainbow range here. Uh, white cadmium yellow, dark cadmium orange. Let's see what this says. Deep scarlet red, magenta, light ultramarine, phthalo blue, emerald green, light green, burnt, burnt ochre. Yeah, burnt ochre, walnut brown, and probably just black. So there are your pencil names and colors and numbers. In case you are interested, this appears to be the standard set of 12, which is super exciting. Um, that's a really high-end product that I definitely don't have, so that's really exciting for me. All right, let's see what else we have in here. Ooh, okay, we have two things of stone ground paint in here. Actually, I'm going to pull all of this out of the box so the box is out of the way and we can actually look at stuff a little bit nicer. Okay, we got everything. Yep, let's look at the stone ground paint first. Stone ground is one of my favorite paint companies. They are a handmade watercolor company. I don't know if they make things other than handmade watercolors, but I absolutely love their handmade watercolors. Okay, I need something to like pry into this box. Okay, I got a pair of tweezers to get into this box because it was really being hard to get into. There we go. Okay, so we have what looks to be a quarter pan, maybe a half pan here of paint in the color Florentine Green. So there is the paint color. So it appears not to be a metallic. I knew, do know that Stone Ground has metallic paints as well. That... I don't know what size that is. It looks like it's got the footprint of a half pan, but it's not as deep as a half pan. Maybe it's a quarter pan. Maybe it's a quarter pan. All right, I'll have to I'll have to play around and see what size it is, or maybe it says here. It does not say here, but this is really nice, and it's handmade watercolor, which is always awesome. See what the other color is. It says Bordeaux, so I'm expecting like a whiny kind of red purple. 
Not sure I'm loving these little boxes that this came in. It's like impossible to open without destroying, at least for me. Okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, it's like a little wine type color. Really pretty. I bet that's going to swatch really nice. So right off the bat, we have a nice red and a nice green for the holiday season, which is super exciting, along with a set of 12 pencils. So we are not going to lack color in this box, that's for sure. Um, oh, we have a little sketch box that looks like a box. That's pretty neat. I like that a lot. That's a cool sticker. Okay, we have two Copic markers, a Copic R46 and B95. So R46 is strong red. I do think I have that one. And light grayish cobalt. I'm not sure if I have that one. I feel like strong red is a name I've seen before, but I'm not sure. But these are the chow markers, which means that one of these ends is going to be a bullet nib and one's going to be a chisel nib. I'm sorry, a brush, brush and a chisel. It's the same as the sketch markers, except... Um, yeah, brush on one end, chisel on the other. It's just a smaller footprint for a marker. So these ones are a little bit smaller sized, but they work just as nice. I enjoy the chow markers. We have a Derwent line maker, which is in 0.8 size. So it's a nice chonky marker. I wonder if it is permanent. It says permanent, so I will have to see how permanent it is with the water-based media that we have here. And then we have two paint brushes here. We have a Princeton Select Half Inch Lunar Blender. I've had this pet, this brush before and it's pretty nice. Um, it definitely is going to do nice wider stuff. It's got a nice stiff footprint here. So I'll be interested to see how that plays. And then we have a King Art um, Original Gold Round 2. And this is a really nice brush. I have another one of these that I may have gotten from Sketchbox, I can't remember, but I really like these brushes. They are really solid, and King Art is doing some really nice things with higher-end supplies as of late. Okay, we have a watercolor pad that is expert watercolor paper, which means it's 100% cotton. Um, it should say that somewhere here. Yep, it does right here. 100% cotton, cold press paper. I wonder, oh, it says glue bound. Ooh, so this is a block on top of it. So this is Arteza's expert paper. It is really good. I have used this paper before. I like it a lot for wet media. I'll be interested because it's cold press, how it's going to work with the polychromos pencils. I do have a thought on what I'm going to do for that that I will share at, uh, in a little bit. But this is a block of paper. Let me see if I can pop it open here so we can look at it. I'm not a fan of Arteza's cellulose paper too much, but I'm a big fan of their cotton paper. It's some of the best affordable cotton paper that you can buy. Okay, and I love the round shape. That's such a neat, fun thing for the holiday season. So it's not that textured. I remember it being more textured. So it's got some texture. It's really hard to see. I'm trying to capture it there for you. There we go, that's a little bit better. Um, it's got some texture, but it's not crazy textured like arches would be. So hopefully it's going to play nice with those polychromos pencils. I am excited to see how those things play together. And last but not least, we have a Schmincke Pale Gold Aqua Bronze. This is not a product I've ever used before. Um, so that is really, really exciting. Cool. I, and sh like, like I said, Arteza is a great brand. We've got Arteza. We've got Schmincke. We've got two... Um, middle, I would say middle of the road, but on the higher end brushes here, we've got Copic markers. We've got a Derwent line maker. We've got stone ground paint, which is, um, like I said, handmade and it's a good brand and Faber-Castell polychromos pencils. So if you're talking about value just right off the bat, I'm seeing all artist grade supplies. I'm seeing things that are name brand that I could pick up if I wanted to. And um, I think that's really cool. We don't have any Sketchbox signature stuff in this gift box here. I really like that. Kat obviously did this piece with all of these supplies together. So I am going to go and watch her work with these supplies before I play with them myself. Because Sketchbox does add a lot of value with the video that they put out free. 
on YouTube for you to watch and check out. So I'm going to watch that and then I'll come back and we will swatch some of this and talk about how we want these supplies to play together. Wow. So it has been a hot minute since I started to film this. I got very, very sick. So I apologize for the uh, lateness of this video, but I have been wanting to finish up talking about this sketch box for a while. So um, first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and do kind of a Christmassy Zen tangle on here today. I'm going to do it without talking because my voice is still struggling and I'm going to play with these supplies as I kind of do it. So I haven't, the only supply that's in here that I haven't tested in a previous video would be this aqua bronze. And I will say I watch them use it and I'm very excited to play with it. It plays nicely on its own. It plays nicely um, on top of these. It plays nicely over these and mixed into the paints as well. Uh, so overall, I'm very happy with this box. And uh, this brush is the only thing that I, I don't love because I, on the original pieces of information, it said we were getting a flat wash brush, which I much would have preferred. My guess, because I know that someone from Sketchbox did tell me that this box was later than they wanted it to be. I, I'm, I'm wondering if this was the supply chain hold up. So they ended up using a brush that they were able to get a little bit faster. And if that's the case, that's okay. I am probably going to switch this guy out because it's super stiff for my liking for one of my flat wash brushes here. Um, let's see. Something that I can use that's about the same size. Um, we'll go ahead and use this one. This is a Rosemary and Company 8 flat wash brush that I really like. And I'm going to go ahead and use that. And you guys know that I often use more brushes than the box would necessarily entail. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get into that in just a minute. Before I do that, I want to give you the pricing information and talk a little bit about this box in case you were wanting to go out and get it. So um, here is the pricing information for the holiday box. I paid with shipping $89.84 for this box. Sketchbox values this box at $120.52. Holy rip, that's a great value. My value came out to be $96.69. That's still more than I paid for it by almost $10. The big difference here for me was the Polychromos pencils. For whatever reason, they're like on Blick and Amazon really cheap right now. I don't know if it's because of it being around the holidays that there's a sale, but I was surprised that the, the price on them was this low. Everything else is pretty well priced and most of it makes perfect sense. Honestly, I think this box is a slam dunk. It looks like so much fun. I can't wait to play. Like I said, I just got really sick and was unable to do anything for a while. So I'm going to just sit and play today. If you are interested in getting this box, I am going to link my affiliate shop below and you can grab it there. It won't cost you any more to get it, but it will help out my channel if you're able to buy it through my sketch box. Uh, shop sketch ambassador store. So I hope you enjoy me playing around with a Christmas type Zen tangle and I'll be back to say goodbye. But other than that, we're just going to kind of art out and enjoy.
ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you enjoyed this. I tried to embrace the Zen tangle and do something that reminded me of the art from the original um, inspiration piece. It was a whole lot of fun. I love the supplies in this box. Um, I did use an alcohol blender just to blend out some of the pencil a little bit because that was what I wanted it to do. And if you didn't know that about regular colored pencils, you can blend them out with an alcohol marker to make them look smoother. That's just a fun tip. And um, this guy didn't really want to go over top of my line work. So I ended up using my vellum, uh, my Zig vellum writer, just because I knew it would do it and do it quickly. And um, I'm pressed for time today. So um, I loved this. I had a lot of fun. I think this is a slam dunk sketch box, holiday box, probably one of my favorites that we've had in a while. And yeah, I think that especially if you like non-wet media, this box is definitely going to sing to you. And it's something we haven't had from a sketch box holiday edition in a while. So what did you guys think of this box? Uh, did you love it? Are you excited to see it used? Uh, let me know all of that in the comments below. And that's going to be it for me today. I hope that this inspires you to do a Christmas Zentangle. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.